So we are doing some rammed earth inside steel belted rubber casing, also known as used car tires. We're also using cardboard. It's a good way to eat up something that would normally be thrown away. And it helps us to keep the dirt inside the tire because what we're trying to achieve here is a tire brick that's gonna be filled with earth and we don't want the earth to be popping out the bottom. So we put the cardboard in the bottom of the tire like this. I just really wanna make sure that none of this dirt blows out the bottom, so I'd rather put a little bit more cardboard than don't have too little. And then start filling it with dirt. And it's gonna take a ton of dirt. So I have some buckets prepared. And usually you see the part in the process where we're hitting it with the sledgehammer. But really, you can start pounding the tire, you know, use as little force as possible, as necessary, so just with your hands. So in the beginning, when you're pouring earth in here, you just taking your hands and pushing the tire, you know, pushing the dirt up into the sidewall here. That way you're only pounding with the sledgehammer in the end when you really are starting to get tight. And so the reason why we're doing this is to make a, essentially it's gonna become a 300 pound brick. So each tire is pounded in place and staggered so that there's two tires below, one tire here. And it creates a strong lattice work and a stable wall, a structural wall, which is also very thick and is gonna hold a lot of temperature. So as opposed to, let's say, a timber framed building where the walls are made from two by fours and insulated with, you know, rock wool, um, this is a very different structure. It's more like a house that was maybe made with concrete walls or, you know, something that was a clay building, um, something that was maybe a brick house, you know, like a brick cabin. Um, the effect we're trying to get of this back wall is that it's going to maintain the heat in the building instead of letting it go away. So normally you have houses that are made where it's essentially just a box with systems in it. You know, a box that gets warm during the day and cold at night, and the way that you regulate the temperature is by burning fuel oil or using electricity in the form of air conditioning. Um, so the difference with an earthship or any rammed earth structure or any you know adobe or stone building is that that stone is going to be cool in the summertime, and in the wintertime it is going to be warmer. So it's a combination. We'll be all day on that one, Will. You know, a combination of techniques, but that's why we're ramming the earth, the dirt in the tires. You know, it's it's a readily available material all over the world. You know, even when we're going to Haiti, India, Mexico, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, you can always find car tires because it's essentially a waste product. So you're cleaning up the streets, you're keeping them out of a landfill, and you're turning them into a usable building material. So phase two of the tire pounding, after you've gotten as much into the sidewall as you can with your hands, is going to be to not with you know massive big swings so that you can't work for the rest of the day, but just little hits of the sledgehammer so that it pounds the dirt up into the sidewall.
So as you're pounding the tire, the sidewall is going to start puffing up. And you want to make sure as you go around that it's a, an even firmness. So I just go around and check some of the spots where it's still soft and then want to make sure that I hit that area a little bit more. And you'd be surprised how much dirt the tires will use up as you compress it in there. So yeah, the final process in leveling a tire is then <laughs> taking the level on the top of the tire and making sure that, as we can see on this tire, it needs to go up on this side. So it just means that I need to pound some more earth into that side of the tire so that it comes up about an inch. And then making sure that it's level like this as well. And so it needs to come up on this side. So all I'm going to do now is go back in and sledge some more earth into basically from you know, 12 o'clock to 9 o'clock and then re-level it and re-level it until it's right and once you get the hang of it it goes quickly and you just make sure that each tire that you do in the series in the course is level to the one that you leveled originally level to itself level to the next one level to the next one